In the following video, we're going to examine how to solve a system of equations in three variables that has an infinite amount of solutions. Now we're gonna approach this the same way we have in the past. We're gonna first determine which variable to eliminate by pairing up our equations. And so if I look at my x, 3x, negative 5x, negative 14x, that's gonna be pretty hard to pair together for elimination. None of them are multiples of each other, so it's possible, but it's not the easiest route. 5y, negative 2y, negative 17y, same thing. It's possible to pair these up to eliminate, but since I don't see multiples of each other, it's not gonna be the easiest and safest route. So now I look at my z's, negative 2z, negative 4z, and positive 2z. Now this one I see negative 2z and positive 2z are already opposites of each other. And so if I were to pair these together as is and just add them as is, the z would cancel. And if I look at my second and my third equation, you know, 2z, negative 4z, all I'd have to do is just multiply this one by 2, and that would create an opposite here. So I'm going to eliminate my z variable. So step one, pair up one of the equations and eliminate the z variable. And I'm going to do the easy one first, the first and the third, because they're already opposites of each other. So if I have 3x plus 5y, minus 2z equals 13, and I have negative 14x minus 17y plus 2z equals negative 19. Since my 2z and negative 2z are the opposites, I can add them as is, and by adding as is, they will cancel. And so let's look at what happens vertically. You have 3x minus 14x, which is negative 11x. 5y minus 17y is negative 12y. And 13 minus 19 is negative 6. So there is the first step when you eliminate the z variable. You get negative 11x minus 12y equals negative 6. So I'm going to do now the pairing of the second and third equation to eliminate the z variable again. Now this one we said involved multiplying the bottom one by a two. So let's just write down what we have originally. We have our middle equation, which is negative five x minus two y minus four z equals 20. And our bottom equation, negative 14x minus 17y plus 2z equals negative 19. And we said we're going to multiply that bottom equation by 2. And so the top equation stays the same, negative 5x minus 2y minus 4z equals 20. I double everything in the bottom equation to get negative 28x minus 34y plus 4z equals negative 38. That gave us our opposites of 4z and negative 4z, so I can add my inequalities vertically. Negative 5x minus 28x is negative 33x. Negative 2y minus 34y is negative 36y. And 20 minus 38 is negative 18. So I eliminated the z variable again in the second equation by pairing up the second and third equation. And it allowed me to create this two variable equation. So now if I pair these two equations together, I can create a new system and eliminate one of the variables. I see negative 11, negative 33. Well, 33 is a multiple of 11, so that's how I'm gonna pair them together. So step three is to create a new system 
and eliminate, I'm going to eliminate the x variable. So I'm going to create a new system with these equations. And the equations are negative 11x minus 12y equals negative 6. And my negative 33x minus 36y equals negative 18. Now the whole point is to create opposites. And so since I have a negative 33 here, I want this to be a positive 33. And so since it's already negative, I'm going to multiply the top equation by a negative 3 to make it positive. That's going to give me a positive 33x, positive 36y, and then negative 3 and negative 6 is 18. The bottom equation stays the same of negative 33x minus 36y equals negative 18. So I created my opposites, so they will add and cancel out. 33x and negative 33x is 0. Take a look, 36y and negative 36y is 0. So everything canceled here, so I'm left with 0. And then 18 minus 18 cancels out, and I'm left with 0. 0 equals 0. That is a true statement. It will always, always, always happen, which means you have an infinite amount of solutions. And so unlike our no solution ex video example that we did, this one actually got pretty far in the process before we saw all the variables eliminate for it. And that's why you want to approach each problem with the same idea of you want to set it up for elimination by pairing the equations together. And then after you do that, pair these together for elimination as well. So we saw everything canceled again, and if it's a true statement, it is an infinite amount of solutions for a system of equations in three variables.